that is it. Full time Liverpool for Tottenham 2. Look, the first half, there was no competition in this game. There was no competition in this game. The second half was a lot closer. Uh, Liverpool scored really. I mean, they were winning this game. Four nails. Salah on the score sheet. Robertson on the score sheet. Gakpo on the score sheet. Elliot, which I think uh, was man of the match for me. If Elliot is your man of the match, make sure you smash a like on the stream. But look, he's been magnificent. Scored an unbelievable goal in this one. But the second half, bro, like this is this is insane. Like this is a similar game. It's a similar game we've seen last season. Liverpool was winning uh, three 0 and Tottenham got back in three three, and then Liverpool won it in the end. It looked like it was gonna go in that direction. I mean, tonight it was 4 0. They made it 4 2. Could have been 4 3 as well. But you've got to say Liverpool had chances to put this game to bed. Had loads of chances to put this game to bed, which is the reason why Liverpool are not competing to win the Premier League this season. It's because of their defense. Their defense and their attack. Defensively, they are weak. And offensively, they can't finish their chances. So. If those two things happen, there's no way you're going to win the title. And this game really defines that. This game really defines that. But for Tottenham, they made it uh, a respectable scoreline. A respectable scoreline. Richardson scored, Son scored. It's 4-2. And the same, same thing happened to them against Arsenal. They just lost the first half, four, I mean, three nil. And they, they made it 3-2 and it could have been 3-3. You know what? If Tottenham can fix their first half, maybe, maybe they just... They might just get a better results. They might just get better results, but let's quickly take a look at what the table looks like now. Liverpool have won. Yes, they still mathematically do have a chance to win the league, but I highly doubt it. Uh, for them to win the league, Man City have to lose all three games and, and, and Arsenal need to lose all those two games. So I don't think that's going to be the case. So Liverpool solid in, uh, in a third position. Aston Villa have lost today. Tottenham. They could have closed the gap tonight, but they can't. They lost as well. So again, Aston Villa with seven point gap and, and, and Tottenham do have a game in hand. Look, it's a blow. It's a huge blow for Tottenham at least not to get a draw in here. Try to close the gap on top four. Try to finish in the Champions League position, but it looks like it's a massive, massive result for Aston Villa because Aston Villa is seriously closing in, closing in on a Champions League spot. So that's huge. That's huge. But it is a, it is a good uh, or a nice way to say goodbye to Jurgen Klopp at home in Anfield. You know what? They performed really well, especially in the first half. He's still one more game to go, so that's going to be fascinating. And that's going to be even more uh, uh, noisier and louder at Anfield to send their, their, their goodbyes to Jurgen Klopp. But it's just a sad way, a sad way to finish the league. I mean... At one point, Liverpool were just going for quadruple, and now they just got the Carabao Cup, and that is it, out of the FA Cup, out of the Europa League, and now out of the Premier League as well. So that's a sad way to finish for Liverpool, but it is what it is. They At least they have competed. They have competed. But that is it, people. Thank you all for watching. Make sure you smash that like on the stream, and do subscribe to the channel if you guys are new to the channel. But that is it. Let me know in the comment section who is your man of the match. And what do you think about Liverpool's uh, season? Let me know in the comment sections. But that is it, people. I will see you guys on the next one. Peace.